Okay, thank you so much, uh, Pastor Osman, for a wonderful orientation. And uh, I believe that many of our questions have been answered. And if there are still some questions that you have, uh, don't worry. Our union youth directors are there, ready to help. And of course, under the uh, leadership of our SSD Youth and Young Adult Ministries uh, with the Paso Ron. So uh, we must just keep our uh, communication lines open so that uh, all the things that we need to know, they are already in place and uh, will be made available to all of us, especially I know all the local clubs are already waiting, but uh, we have to go through the channels uh, in order for all the materials to be available to us. Now, uh, we are going to proceed to a very, uh, another important part, but this is just an update because um, you can actually um, download all the uh, manuals, the checklists, the Masa Guide, the requirement cards, and even a sample of uh, the Masa Guide uh, training uh, portfolio uh, from the websites, okay? Uh, you can go, for example, to the uh, DC Youth Ministry website and you can uh, get the materials from there. Also available from uh, NAD, uh, Masa Guide uh, Club Ministries uh, website. And of course, uh, you can just go and ask from our youth directors, especially from the union, because all these manuals uh, have been or are in the process, if they have not been uh, uh, sent yet, in the process of being sent from our SSD youth office. Okay, so now um, we would like to present to you some updates about this master guide curriculum. But the one that I will be presenting today is the one that we have adapted into the SSD Master Guide curriculum. What does it mean? The GC gave out all the, uh, to the divisions and down uh, to the different levels of organizations, the general basic requirements for Master Guide trainees. However, each division has been given uh, like a leeway uh, to adapt that master guide curriculum from the general conference into their own local context so that uh, we will be able to develop. Remember, master guide training is a youth leadership training for our uh, youth leaders in the church, specifically for club ministry. Okay, And also it helps prepare for the other ministries like uh, senior youth ministry, ambassador ministry, and the other uh, ministries under the uh, youth department. So uh, in view of the emphasis that we have now, earlier, Pastor Ron, in his welcome, uh, again, mentioned about the five Cs. Remember, the five Cs emphasis and vision of our SSD youth and young adult ministries for the past uh, two or three years and going on to the next five years. And so in view of that, uh, the youth directors, let me share my screen a little bit. The youth directors, union youth directors, uh, were called to a meeting by uh, our youth director from SSD, Paso Ron. And that happened in January 26 of this year. Let me share my screen. Okay. So in that meeting, all the union youth directors, these are the new ones and together with the union master guide representatives. That means that in the past two years, we have had uh, master guide representatives from each union uh, helping out in all the activities for master guides and pathfinders. And that's why we have also a pathfinder um, coordinator for SSD and that is master guide Jimmy. Later, he will be presenting something uh, more detail for the CMT. And then we have uh, the one who facilitated our question and answer, um, as a guy, Oswald. He is the um, SSD Adventurer Coordinator. And yours truly uh, is the SSD Master Guide Coordinator. So together with the other Master Guide representatives, we voted and the union youth directors to accept the, adapt the adapted Master Guide curriculum for SSD. That means that 
from the time it was voted on January 26, it will be implemented right away once uh, the unions will start that uh, implementation in their different territories. Now, what are the additional things that we need to know in this adapted version of the new Master Guide curriculum? Well, let me share with you. Uh, of course, we already have previously uh, almost the same basic requirements. Uh, let me share another screen here, if I may, so that you can see the manual. Okay, so I will go to another screen so I can show you the present uh, manual that we have. Mm. Okay, so this is the new Master Guide curriculum manual. And I will just quickly uh, scroll down. Uh, you can download this and also you can request a copy from our, I think right now the union youth directors uh, already have a copy of this. So as you can see in, in on the screen, we have almost the same, almost the same uh, categories of requirements for master guide. And they just updated it. Uh, we still have the same prerequisites. However, uh, there's one thing that we have added into the SSD context for the master guide requirement. And as you can see here on the red, we have here for uh, that is a prerequisite, okay? So if you're a master guide trainee that will be inducted um, this year, then that means that voice of pitch certification is already part of the requirement. Okay, so for those who are already in the process, I think now uh, because you're about to finish your master guide uh, training, you don't have to go, go through this. But for this adapted, newly adapted version, for the new trainees, this will have to be implemented. Okay, voice of youth certification there. And then uh, let me quickly scroll down on the spiritual growth part. We added an option uh, on the Bible reading that uh, our master guide in training or master guide trainees can opt to read a chapter a day following the GC reading plan. And that is what we are doing also in our uh, SSD Bible reading plan. So that's part of that. And then another one, a part of the spiritual growth uh, requirement is we added a number eight for SSD master guides to be an active member or leader of a prayer network in your local conference, mission, or church. So all the things that we have added and adapted, already voted by the union youth directors, are in line with the five Cs, vision of our SSD youth. So um, let me go back to the original um, file that I was sharing so you can see the summary, okay? The summary of all the things that have been added. So this is the summary. Number one, uh, part of the prerequisite is voice of youth certification for master guide trainees or MITs. So if you are a new, newly inducted master guide trainee or MIT, you have to go through this voice of youth certification. Now, how will this be done? Okay, uh, voice of youth certification has already been completed in, I think, all unions last year. Every union has done voice of youth certification. Therefore, it means that every union and maybe down to the local missions and conferences are already equipped to do their own uh, voice of youth certification locally together with the master guide uh, clubs of uh, uh, different uh, uh, local territories. So that will be done in coordination with the mission, conference, or union youth director. So remember, one of the things that we want you to take note of, uh, club directors, is that everything that we will do in uh, implementing this new curriculum should be coordinated with our local mission, conference, or union youth director. Don't just go ahead with the training without coordinating. We want to be able to make sure that our uh, higher organization level is aware of what we are doing so they can also give their support. Okay, number two uh, in the summary is the spiritual growth. 
I already mentioned the option to read a chapter a day following the GC reading plan as an option to the other requirements that are already there. And in addition, uh, master guide trainees or MITs must be an active member or leader of a prayer network team in your local conference mission and church. And this can be certified and placed together with the portfolio that you have to submit uh, in order to prove that you have finished all the requirements. Okay. And then lastly, there's one more in the lifestyle development section of the requirements. We added be a certified sad free movement advocate. Now you might be wondering what is sad free. Okay. Um, Pastor Ron uh, is the one who really uh, started all of this and it's very active uh, um, in many places of our youth ministry in the Philippines and now even in other uh, unions. We also have a chapter here right now. I'm, I'm ministering here in Thailand. We have a chapter of the Sad Free Movement. We want to promote and see our young people, especially youth leaders, because Master Guide Training is a youth leadership training for uh, youth leaders to be advocates of health and temperance because Sad Free stands for uh, smoking, alcohol, and drug-free youth. And this is part of, uh, historically, the beginnings of our youth ministry in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Uh, before, we don't have really pathfinders and things like that to begin with, but we already have temperance societies incorporated with the youth ministry at the very beginning of this ministry in our church. So uh, we want our young people to really be uh, active advocates of uh, health and temperance also in a church. So um, only very few, okay? Only very few were added in line again with the five C's emphasis of our SSD youth ministry. Again, this is the summary. If you can take a screenshot, so you will know. The rest of the requirements are the same as the one from the GC that you can download. Now, you might be asking, um, how can we know, um, how, how can we have the manual for this, okay? Um, the manuals for the new Master Guide curriculum with the adapted uh, content, I think, will be uh, sent to the union youth director. So make a follow-up with your union youth directors or maybe... Uh, if it has already been shared, maybe the local mission and conference youth directors already have a copy. Number two, how about a uh, master guide checklist for this new curriculum? Okay. Um, for the master guide checklist and also a sample template of the master guide portfolio, the one that I showed you earlier, uh, it's already available for download uh, from the GC youth website. However, I think no, my maybe Pastor Ron can give uh, added uh, light before I end here. Uh, I think we are in the direction that SSD will be uh, providing uh, like a copy in, which includes the additional requirements for SSD that we have added here to, again, the different union youth director. So we will go through that channel from the SSD to the union, down to the local mission conference and down to the local uh, Pathfinder and Master Guide Clubs. So I hope um, we are able to give you a very short but very clear um, information about the newly adapted Master Guide curriculum for our SSD youth and uh, Pathfinder and Master Guide Club. So that's all, Pastor Ron. I think there Thank will you. be some questions and we are. We will. Uh, we hope that we can answer all the uh, yeah. questions and give clarification so that we can proceed right away. Yeah, Master Gid Arn, thank you very much. Uh, we'll take the question later. So we will right away go to the uh, uh, how you know the practice of CMT uh, in in EIUC. So we'll give the time now to uh, our next presenter. So Master Guide Jimmy will be our next presenter. Uh, he is uh, the- Thank you, Pastor Ron. Good evening, everyone. Uh, okay, let me introduce you uh, very quick. 
Uh, Jimmy, Master Guy Jimmy has been uh, a blessing to the youth ministries both in AIUC and SSD. Uh, he is the Pathfinder Coordinator for uh, the Southern Asia Pacific Division, a volunteer, you know, and also like Master Guy Arne. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Pastor Ron. Once again, good evening to all of the youth directors and all of the master guide around the SSD. And for uh, Pastor Ron, thank you so much for this uh, good uh, chance for me to speaking in front of the very, very important people like you, because uh, all of you will bring the, all the pet vendors to the food. Uh, of Christ. So I think that uh, this is a, a very, very important people. So uh, right now I would like to uh, share to you about uh, how we do this uh, certification because of, uh, I'm so glad that uh, now we have a CMT because of uh, uh, last time when I was elected as a Pathfinder director in 1991, I don't know how to do the club and how to run the club because of there is no training like uh, CNT. So right now, if you are able to join now and run this uh, certification, this is a really, really uh, a good uh, framework system for us to train uh, our staff in the club. So let me share my PowerPoint. So uh, my title of my presentation tonight is the practice of uh, club ministry training. So this is uh, taken from the club ministry training manual. And thank you, uh, Pastor uh, Nestor, for uh, writing this uh, CMT. And uh, nice to meet you again, Pastor Nestor. Last time I take the class in uh, Lake Union uh, for the AYMT class. And uh, Pastor Nestor is one of uh, the speaker there. And uh, I already met him in a forever faithful camp in Ascos, 2014, when uh, NAD launched the NYMT and then the last camp chosen. Yeah. Pastor Nestor also is uh, handling uh, the international guests, I think. That. So um, the reference for my presentation right now is. <clears throat> The workshop resources for presenters uh, and Mas Pastor Nest Nestor is the, the writer and then the master guide curriculum also. Uh, Pastor Nestor is the writer and the advantage uh, ministry training, the final staff training program description from the NAD. And then uh, this is the CMT uh, development team and uh, Pastor Nestor Osman is the project. And then uh, Maybe you ask, what is a CMT? What is a CMT? I, I think that uh, CMT, this is the important thing that uh, we must know that club ministry training is the uh, curriculum framework that provides in that training for club staff in specific roles. So if you are elected as a director, so this is the time for you to uh, take the certification of a director. But before that, like, uh, Pastor Nestor said that uh, we must finish the basic staff training. And then uh, this is the new uh, framework because of role specific uh, certification, one year time frame, and then require field work, and then uh, uh, five until eight seminars, and then there's a portfolio completion, mentoring, and conference uh, level creation. So this is the new framework, the basic format is like college or, or university. We complete a basic degree and then we choose a specialty, the certification, and then we attend uh, classes and we do the field work and then uh, have it great, uh, complete or complete. So uh, if we already complete all the requirements, uh, so um, we will be assigned as uh, complete. And then uh, this is the club uh, ministry training. The certification are designed to be complete in one year. And this is uh, like a Pastor Nestor already said, uh, 
about the certification, how to attending the workshop and working with mentor. And then uh, the club ministry training is uh, based on the Athletics Youth Ministry Training, ONT certification developed by the NED. And uh, uh, my friend, Master Guide, uh, this is the academic uh, framework. And there are departments of study that relate to common area of ministry like leadership, finance, religion, psychology, and there are ministry program specific departments of study like uh, adventure, pathfinder, and master guide. So uh, this is the club ministry training, the pathfinder basic staff. The GC already provide uh, this uh, uh, certification, five certification from the pathfinder basic staff until the pathfinder uh, club uh, director. So uh, club ministry training also uh, for division that would like to recognize leaders that seek this certification, a pin with the chief certification could be included in the official SAS. So uh, club ministry training, uh, CMT certification are replacing the PLA and APLA and then uh, receiving a CMT like uh, Pastor Nestor already explained. And then uh, the CMT certification are connected to the club role. So if you are elected as a counselor or a instructor, so you can take the certification. So this is a really uh, advantage for us because of we can run uh, the club well because of uh, we we are uh, training well because of uh, we can take this uh, certification. Uh, maybe uh, when you see in the uh, manual that uh, uh, there is a seminar uh, organization like certifications. Seminar are organized in a similar fashion to college, university department and courses. Each uh, ministry is assigned a departmental name and code as uh, our course ministry subject. Uh, like this one, uh, the seminar ID, including its departmental code, uh, like PFAD001. Uh, so the uh, PFAD001 is coming from the Pathfinder Club Administration and Programming, and also there is a time there. And uh, there is uh, also a seminar ID, and each seminar is uh, assigned to a three-digit number. And CMT uses three different uh, variations of the system to fit the established dynamics of different ministry. So like this one, the first digit uh, indicates the skill level of outline below, and the second and the third digit simply indicate uh, the course number. Uh, systematic logic is used in assigning the numbers. So uh, we work also with the mentors. Yeah, most people learn best through hands-on learning experience. Classroom training is essential to initial introduction of the certification, but the supervised field experience is where certifications become real. So in uh, CMT, we have a, a field work. So not like in a PLA in APLA, we just uh, take a seminar, 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 and then uh, take reading seminar, but uh, in a CMT, we have a field work. So we work with uh, our mentor. So it is recommended that the participant recruit a single experienced knowledgeable Pathfinder leader to act as a mentor. This mentor will guide and oversee the completion of the out of class certification requirements. So uh, the mentor is not there to complete the requirements, but uh, the mentor will help uh, us to give uh, constructive instruction or practical application, how to do this in the club. And many of the fieldwork requirements include observation of an experienced leader asking that individual to be your official mentor. It's another aspect to the relationship. So uh, it is hoped that a participant will continue their relationship with their mentor beyond the completion of the requirements so that when life situation present themselves, the mentor will be a positive resource for a resolution and counsel. So the local conference could compile a list of eligible willing to find our leaders and make this list available to participants. Mentors should be invested master guides, but do not have to have completed all levels of infrastructure achievement. So uh, now we move to the portfolio. 
portfolio certification requires a portfolio documenting the journey, process, lesson learned, and completion of the requirement. So the portfolio should include a completed certification check sheet and evidence confirming requirement completion. This evidence can come in the form of sign card class or sign in sheets, class handouts or a photograph of participants leading or involvement or proof of applicable research and projects completed as the required field work. The purpose of the portfolio is not only to show completion of all the certification requirements, but also to be an alternative referral source when faced with similar issues in the futures. Uh, like this, when uh, take a club ministry in the basic staff training, we will take notes from the seminars and then we will uh, write down here our idea for my club. So this is, uh, it works, uh, we did in the AIUC when we made a workshop after um, workshop, we will check it again if the notes for from seminar is the participant did the, the notes from the seminars or the ideas from my club. Uh, like this, this is the, the example. This is the example, and then uh, this is, uh, yes, this is the example of uh, portfolios. Portfolios, so the physical portfolio can be a three ring binder like this, three ring binder or folder in which all materials are kept. However, a fully digital data collection is also accept acceptable. So not only the physical, but the uh, digital also we can uh, uh, receive. And then uh, the content is uh, what counts, not the form of that content. It should be organized, well organized and easy to uh, check over. Because of if, we, if we use a, a ring binder like this, we can open, we can open like this, open, and then we can uh, close again. So we can take the documents and put the documents, all the documents in the portfolio. So this is a sample of, of portfolio, uh, three ring binder, or uh, in some other countries uh, only have uh, two ring binders. So this is uh, the example of portfolio review. So the purpose of the review is to confirm the completion of the requirements. So we, uh, two weeks ago, we make uh, the, the basic staff training in uh, one of our uh, conference and then uh, we make a camping there and uh, after after the workshop we uh, make a portfolio review so the purpose of the review is to confirm completion of the requirements so portfolio are review to determine if they are complete or incomplete just uh, as simple like pastor nestor said just as simple and then uh, a portfolio review also, uh, incomplete portfolio will be returned to the participant with a written explanation of what needs to be added, sometimes uh, need corrected or completed. So whether complete or incomplete should be returned to the participant in a timely manner. And review of completed portfolio will be done by invested master guide appointed by the conference youth director or the Sami. So uh, recognition of completion. Everyone likes to have their effort recognized. Youth leaders who put in alto uh, hours of praying, uh, playing, counseling, and training are not exceptions. So this is uh, like uh, Pastor Meso already uh, gave the presentation about the PIN. Uh, um, upon uh, completion of the required workshop, the participant is eligible to receive an animal pin like this from basics uh, staff training until the director certification. So this is the sample of uh, a certificate upon a completion of the required workshop. The participant is eligible to receive a certificate of a completion like this one uh, and then uh, uh, this is the example of the uh, certificate 
and this is the CMT profanoglobin. And in EIC, we put the basic stuff uh, training pin in the left pocket. So only two pins we put in the left pocket and uh, the other one, if you already finished the, the other certification, you can put in the SAS. So uh, in, uh, in this weekend, we will open the certification uh, like uh, Adventurer Club Basics Staff Training uh, and then the Adventurer Club Director uh, certification. Uh, there, there are five certification in Adventurer and uh, in Pathfinder also we have a certification we will open together. So the class is running together and uh, there is also a Pathfinder Staff Leadership Certification and Ambassador Module, 10 hours Seminar for Senior Youth Leaders, Voice of Youth Certification and PCM. If you want to join with us, you can uh, register and then uh, join with us in EIUC for this uh, weekend. So this is like uh, Pastor Nessor already uh, explained to all of us about the Pathfinder Basic Staff Training Certification, the prerequisites, and then uh, um, this is like this. So you will not confuse when you see the PFAD001 because of this is coming from Pathfinder administration. So there's a Pathfinder Club Ministry. So uh, this is the different, the different with the Pathfinder basic staff training course because um, uh, the GC added like the uh, maybe 100. This is the new, the new and the outreach and then uh, the other uh, workshops. And this is the example of uh, our basic staff training. And then uh, this is uh, the example when the COVID coming, we make the basic staff training online. And this is uh, some us. So this is the Pathfinder Club Counselor, the prerequisite, required field work. And then this is the workshop, the seminar of the Pathfinder uh, Club uh, Counselor. Almost of the, almost of the workshop is uh, five until eight uh, seminar. And this is the Pathfinder Club instructor. Uh, Pathfinder Club instructor require field work. So if the basic staff training, when we finish, we can uh, give the certificate, but uh, the other certification, we must uh, finish in one year. So there is a required field work. Uh, and then this uh, Pathfinder Club instructor and this one is uh, the Founder Club Secretary and Treasurer. And this one is uh, for the, the Founder Club Director. I still have uh, three minutes. So this one, uh, how CMT Founder Director works in EIUC. So um, this is the, uh, what we did in uh, EIUC, the Founder Director Certification for the seminar and in time. And we have a commission and post a seminar director field work. And then there's a portfolio review for complete or incomplete and award certificates and uh, completion and fee. So this is a uh, post seminar director field work from uh, approved commission until the commission. And this is uh, the, com the commissioning. Uh, Pastor Ron uh, said that don't ring the bell. Maybe Pastor Ron can uh, give uh, this. Uh, good uh, motivation to all of us. And this is the commissioning before our uh, director come back to the, the club to do the field work. So this is the example of uh, field work, but the digital, the digital like this. Yeah, this is the example because of you can, you can make as fancy as you want. You want to make a digital or the physical you can uh, do uh, like this. So uh, my time is up now. If you have a question, uh, I will answer. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, before we uh, give you the certificate, uh, Master Jimmy, thank you very much. We would like to have the Q&A. Uh, we'll now call, uh, we call now uh, Osman, Master Osman, please. Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Kajimi.
very clear presentation and for the time for uh, question and answer. There are four questions that I got already. Uh, this time maybe to Pastor Arn, if Pastor is still here, or Master Get Jimmy also. Uh, why was the uh, VOY, the Voice of Youth, which was part of senior youth, adapted to junior youth? So uh, we know that it is now included as part of the Masaga requirements in SSD to have not only the Voice of Youth, SAT Free Movement, we also have uh, some other new initiatives being part uh, to be included. Um, Pastor Arn or Pastor Ron? Uh, maybe I will uh, right. Go give ahead, a brief answer that uh, many of our young people uh, have already actually been involved in the Voice of Youth ministry. They have received certification. And this is part of uh, also the requirement for outreach. Now, in the different divisions, uh, they have uh, different ways, methods to accomplish it. Uh, the outreach uh, requirement for Master Guide. But since Voice of Youth Ministry is an active uh, goal as part of the 5Cs uh, vision for our SSD this year, and the training has already been uh, done in almost all of the unions, then we deem it best to uh, put the Voice of Youth as part of the uh, Master Guide requirement so that uh, it will be our uh, uh, method that we are already doing. We will just include it uh, as part of that master guide training since uh, it will be a good experience for our young people, especially youth leaders, to really be actively involved. Because our emphasis, remember, in club ministry is not just like what uh, Pastor Osman shared earlier, not to be a Christmas tree, not to have the, the, a lot of decorations, eh, but really evangelism. So uh, we added this so that uh, we will be uh, focused more on uh, the real uh, uh, mission of our youth ministry and our club ministry is to lead our young people to Jesus. So Pastor Ron, maybe you can shed more uh, light on this part. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Master Gedarn. Yeah, Voice of Youth um, is a uh, Evangelism. It is the main. It is the main uh, evangelism um, strategy we have, but not only the uh, the evangelistic uh, tool uh, that we can do. However, uh, yeah, voice of youth has been a you know God has ignited it already in our territory, and we are expanding it. So we want a generation of young people leaders who are not only attended a seminar on evangelism or uh, or or or, uh, or yeah evangelism but have experienced it themselves so because what is uh, being a master guide when you cannot lead people to the master so yeah because uh, this is the essence uh, of our uh, before we are called you know uh, uh, volunteers, uh, missionary volunteers, and we want to regain, you know, that uh, missionary spirit in the heart of our master guides. So every master guide later on who will be become leader of the church, they have gone through uh, voice of youth and they have learned how to lead the young people, how to be a speaker, how to be a health lecturer, how to be a children coordinator. You don't need to be a speaker uh, for this one, but you need to join a group. Uh, that uh, uh, you know uh, that will conduct a voice of youth evangelism, whether online or whether uh, physical, in your uh, local community. So that's that's the the uh, uh, beauty of this one. Right. Thank you, Pastor Arn and Pastor Ron. Uh, very comprehensive answers. We go to the next question. Uh, there's someone uh, choose to be anonymous to ask this question. What's next for this CMT? If you are going to enroll, who will be doing the certi this certification? Will SSD conduct it or union level will be the organizer? Is it Pastor Ron to provide okay. the answers? Yeah, uh, let me uh, uh, answer this. Uh, we, if <clears throat> there is, you know, there is a, a, a like a request that we, we do in SSD first, but you know, the, uh, the, the time, uh, 
you know that we will be doing it it will take us time a year before you can do it in your union and uh, uh, considering the, lang the the language barrier that we are having also so we are uh, SSD will be uh, will be assisting all the unions uh of SSD if you don't have lecture for a certain topic uh, for example uh, counseling we can provide you so but we will do it uh, per union okay so don't do it uh, in, in your uh, conference yet or emission we'll do it in the union level so and uh, if you are from NPUC or SPUC take it from your union uh, don't uh, jump to another union to take your uh, to take your uh, um, um, uh, uh, CMT. So yeah, so we are here. SSD will be providing you uh, 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 speakers if you need. But if you have, I, I know that you have uh, certified, and what I mean is uh, qualified lecturers who can help you uh, certify this uh, uh, through this CMT training. <clears throat> okay, very clear, Pastor. Thank you. Next one. Is there any readily available presentation of CMT materials for our readings and learnings? So probably if we're in the union level, we'll start our certification. Would be helpful if we have like a startup uh, presentation, if there's anyone's ready. Pastor Ron or Pastor Arn? Uh, I think it was already shared in the chat. So All right. go and scroll in the chat. The CMT manual, uh, sample yeah. portfolios, all the requirements uh, are already there. So uh, you can download it from there. Or if you're using a phone and uh, you are not able to do so, just go to the uh, GC Youth Ministry website and it can also be downloaded from there. Uh, also the NAD Club Ministries uh, website. So. Um, yeah, you can start actually, and I, I like the direction that Pastor Ron said that you now we can do it actually already uh, in coordination with our union youth uh, directors because we have, as long as we um, ask people who are expert or who are in line with the certain uh, certification or topics that need to be presented, then we can go ahead. Uh, but again, let me remind everyone. Let us coordinate with our uh, union and uh, mission and conference first. Don't go ahead just because you have the resources, you have the personnel. Please uh, coordinate with our youth directors. All right, Pastor An, very uh, informative information. And um, uh, for us to be remembered to go as the top down direction, not to limit our initiative, but we're. Uh, listening to the direction from the higher organization. Before I continue with the slide, there is a direct message I received from NPUC, Master Guy Hebert. I, uh, I, I read this for uh, Pastor Ernst or Pastor Ron. Should the review committee of portfolio coming only from the conference or union, or should we organize our local mission review committee? I guess this was uh, touched uh, previously, but Pastor Ron can repeat yeah, thank the you very much. answer. Since we don't have yet in the level of conference, because union will be spearheading this. So once you, uh, like for example, in uh, I heard uh, the beautiful uh, <clears throat> plan of NPUC to the leadership of Pastor Dave. So they will be uh, having representation, uh, uh, representation from each of the conference you know, attending the director, uh, attending the uh, instructor, and so on, and, and other uh, other certification. So once they have that, uh, they can do their own, uh, you know, um, CMT training in their conference and level. So uh, first certifying those who are uh, uh, those who are uh, in the conference and level. So once they have that, uh, of course, the first uh, the first. Um, uh, evaluator should be coming from the union level. And then later on, once uh, you have already in the conference level and you have the training you uh, and you are certified, you can uh, extend that later on. So we'll do it uh, slowly, but surely uh, in that way. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Pastor. The second last uh, question. Uh, sorry. Okay. 
uh, for those who start, this was asked by uh, Master Guide or uh, Master Guide in Training, Matthew from SAC. For those who start MIT, Master Guide in Training in, in this year, 2021, do we have to switch them over to 2022 curriculum? Uh, Pastor Ron? Yeah, uh, thank you. So um, if, if they are, have been doing, like for example, in their, they are already almost you know, investing there, uh, there, there will be an investiture already, no, no need. Uh, you don't have to, you know, to bring them. But uh, there's no, there's no uh, harm if you, if you bring them. But if it's too late already, you can proceed with what, uh, with the curriculum you have started. But we encourage that since uh, we are already in 2022 and we have already this uh, new curriculum, let's follow this new curriculum that we have. Uh, if you will adapt the mas uh, Master Guide Curriculum 2022 version today, uh, at least your training is updated. You know, uh, you are not in the old curriculum, but in the new curriculum. Right. Uh, thank you, Pastor Ron. Uh, the last, uh, I think, last one that I've received in the uh, Zoom chat box from Master Guide is Agani Cesar. Uh, it's more to um, Proposal, I think, Pastor Ron, Master Guide Club is so comprehensive. Could be now time of having new song for Master Guide Club incorporating "I Will Go" theme. So it's a homework for you, Pastor Ron, to oh, it's go a, with the uh, the new song. I think uh, we can have a Master Guide uh, a theme song challenge. Okay, uh, we will not, you know, we will open it. So it's open to all. Probably, let's wait. We will discuss it in the committee to have the Master Guide Team Song Challenge. So whoever uh, won, uh, who, who, who will be win, you know, whatever or whoever win this uh, composition and singing uh, will receive, of course, an award and certification. So, yeah, uh, we don't want to tap anyone, but we will open this as a challenge, you know. Uh, and then later on, we'll uh, pick from those who will be giving yeah, I think we need to because we are singing the five C's is a general theme song for youth, but we need to have master guide theme song here in SSD. Yeah, thank you very much. Ah, now, um, thank you very much, Master Guide Osvald, for, right, uh, for effectively uh, um, leading in the Q&A. Master Guide Jimmy, uh, let me give you the certificate now. Uh, before I call again, uh, Master Guide uh, Pastor uh, Nestor, because he, he would like to promote the International Pathfinder Campuri uh, after this uh, certificate, uh, certificate is given to Master Guide Jimmy. Master Guide Jimmy. So the Southern Asia Pacific Division Adventist Ministries proudly presents the Certificate of Appreciation to Master Guide Jimmy Pinagkan uh, for sharing his precious time and expertise to orient the youth directors and Master Guides of the Southern Asia Pacific Division on Club Ministries Training and Master Guide Curriculum, given this 23rd of February 2022 during the CMT orientation and launching. Signed by Master Guide Ron Henry Bago and Master Guide Arn Galbo. So please accept this humble uh, certificate uh, for you, uh, Master Guide Jimmy, for your hard labor for the uh, uh, Master Guide Pathfinder Ministry of the Southern Asia Pacific Division, also in a of a AIUC. Okay, thank you very much. Now, we would like to once again call uh, Master Guide uh, Nestor uh, uh, to promote the uh, International Pathfinder Campery before we finally launch this CMT uh, later on. Okay, this will be really quick. It will be a, a few seconds video, and then I will share. I'm in charge of all the internationals coming to the Camp Re that need uh, lodging with local clubs. And I will explain really quick how that works, okay? So I will share my screen and share this video with you. Let me know, let me know if you can hear everything, if you can hear. Pathfinders, are you ready for some history-making yes. news? Yes. The International Pathfinder Camp Re is going west. In 2024, come play, learn, 
and worship at an exciting all-new location in beautiful Wyoming. Get ready for bigger and better campgrounds and facilities, new places to explore, and a whole new world of amazing off-site activities. We'll see you at the International Pathfinder Camporee in Gillette, Wyoming. It will be it will be a great event. So I hope many of you can participate. The first time and the second time I came to the United States, it was for the Campari, for this Campari. And it changed my view of, of club ministry. You know, sometimes we focus on what we have in our local church, uh, but the world of Pathfinder Ministries is amazing. Let me share really quick uh, the steps to uh, get to the Camp Rey. So for internationals, this is the thing. This is a registration process for international participants. And uh, we suggest that the first step should be to get the visa. Why? Because there will not be a reimbursement for tickets uh, for this company. And we want to make sure that every person that purchases a ticket will come without any problem. So that's why the visa is the first. The registration code is the second. We, I'm personally sending the registration code uh, to Pastor uh, Ron and to the youth directors of your division. I just need to receive the updated list and I will send it uh, to you uh, again. I've been sending through the years, but probably if you change, if you are new youth director, you didn't receive it. And uh, with that code, once you are um, safe with the visa that you can travel to the United States, you enter the code and you can purchase uh, your tickets. Finally, the international tickets are the ones that you need to purchase. And the second question that usually comes is lodging options for international participants. Uh, local club hosts is, is one option and is the most common option. So, uh, and it's the option that I took two times. You come and a local club will provide you with free uh, meals and will lend you tents to sleep with them in their area. So you feel and you, you exchange, you know, cultures and traditions for clubs, and that's really good and make new friends. And uh, International Village is a second option. You know, if you want to bring a large group and uh, you don't want to split them in, in, in clubs, you want to stay together, that's another option. And finally, hotel, you know, if you, would like to, it is a very long travel and you would like to stay in a hotel. That's another option. We had twice hotel rooms than in Oshkosh in this new place. And there are others, for example, uh, RVs, which are motor homes and things like that. There are places for that, or there are uh, Adventist academies where you can sleep and travel to the Campari every day. Uh, so there are different options, and those options are on the website. As I mentioned before, the local host will provide free meals, tents, and camping space. Uh, so this year in 2023, but before that, I, I think we will be, make available um, some forms that you have to complete. So if you have a pre-arrangement because you already came in previous camperies and you already have the contact, you can complete that form. If you are seeking a host club, you have to complete that form that will ask you how many are coming, when are you coming, and, and those details so we can find a match. And of course, uh, for local people, if they are seeking a, an international club, we ask them the same, okay? And this is my email. If you want to have a, ask any question, please send me an email, international at campri.org, and we are here to answer your questions. And I hope this was clear enough. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Pastor Ron and, and all the leaders. And uh, we are here to support you and hopefully we will see you in Gillette, Wyoming in 2024. Amen, thank you very much, uh, Master Gedron. I really were blessed by that. Can, can you share on the chat box the, the presentation uh, so we can sure. have that? Right so now. Can yeah, thank you very much. So please, uh, let's join and uh, the International Camporee 
uh, and let me know how you know we can uh, help together. So apply now the visa. That is the number one. Pray and apply for a visa because that would be the, the first step that you need to do. Okay, and I think many will go there. Uh, I think Jimmy will go again. And other, you know, the, our master guides, you know, coordinators, please uh, apply for a visa so we can go together. Our youth directors, so let's uh, join this uh, uh, company and those who uh, can join uh, because you have visa already. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, let me, uh, can you bring, Marika, can you bring Pastor uh, Nestor uh, Osman and also Master Guide Jimmy uh, on screen? Yeah, our, 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 uh, yeah, and myself, of course, <laughs> okay, and Master Guide Arn, Arn Galbo, okay. So thank you very much. We're about to launch, okay, this uh, CMT, yeah. So, yeah, um, I'll be, I would like to thank uh, Master Guide uh, Nestor, for you know, for the time that you spent with us, and uh, also Master Guide Jimmy for you know for your time as well, Master Guide Arn, and I know our uh, my fel my youth directors are our, our youth directors here in SSD. The union directors are very happy to have you around, and uh, uh, yeah, Master Guide uh, Oswald. So uh, and uh, I know that they are. Uh, we didn't go. We, we see that uh, we want to tap, you know, uh, our our master guides. We want to work with you, okay. And I know our youth directors. Uh, they have also uh, master guides whom they are, you know, they are uh, depending on, and they are uh, they want to uh, them to assist uh, the directors. Like for example, master guide uh, Pastor um, Andres Peralta, you know. You have um, Master Guide, Pastor Peralta has Master Guide Nestor assisting him. And also, we have also here in SSD. Okay, so uh, after after I said uh, the, the launching statement, I, I would like to request uh, everyone on screen and if you can join to, uh, you know, Master Guide, Ar uh, probably Master Guide Arn can uh, make a, a, a command to have a, uh, you know, a salute uh, after my statement. Okay, Master Guide Arn, uh, are you ready for that after my statement? Okay. So, by the grace of God and by the guidance of the General Conference, uh, now that we have learned about the CMT during this orientation uh, program, uh, as uh, the youth director and servant uh, of the Southern Asia Pacific Division, I now officially launch the CMT in the entire SSD territory. Master Guides, Master Guides in training, Master Guide trainees, everybody, present arms. Master Ron, we are happy to uh, know that we are excited to launch this new Club Missy training. And we will go as you have commissioned all of us to go and do the training. Order, arms. Okay, we praise the Lord. And I would like to uh, um, have Pastor Nestor. Uh, let, let, let me request Pastor Nestor to lead us in prayer before, uh, uh, before we uh, um, close it. Sure, let's pray. <clears throat> Dear Father in heaven, thank you, Lord, because you created Club Ministries. We believe that it was in your heart to gather together all these leaders and, uh, and take care of, of the little ones, the ones that you love so much in your church. Give us the wisdom, give us the intelligence that we don't have, give us the opportunity to serve, and give us the love that was the characteristic of your ministry in this earth uh, to reach every kid in our neighborhood, every kid in our city, and, uh, and to prepare and train leaders for this world and for the kingdom of heaven also. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. We ask a 
double portion of the Holy Spirit, because the times we live are not easy, but in your name, we will do whatever you ask. So thank you, Lord, for that. Be with all these leaders, with their families. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, the prayer will be continued by Master Guide Anthony Jude, our uh, uh, director of uh, Singapore Conference, but minor director. Let us pray. Our loving Father, and what a privilege that you have given us once again together here as Pathman. The fathers, we are, we are really blessed, and we are really blessed that you have given us this opportunity that we can serve. We can spread your knowledge to every kid, every child, every child in the church, and also the community. Father, Father, we thank you for all the leaders who contributed for developing with CMT and also the other materials that is required so that we can enable our officers, counselors, the instructors, so they can teach about you, about your knowledge, about your love, and about your leadership. Father, Father especially I pray for the leaders here, every officers and the counselors who are joined today. Help us to interpret and understand the information that is given to us. Help us to go and, and read it, help us to and, and attend these workshops. Helps us, help us to uh, know so that we can put them in practice. Help us to lead and lead in your way. Father, you understand the challenges due to, due to this pandemic and we have various challenges in club programs. And some ministries and some, some locations, some countries that people are coming from here, the officers who are from coming here, they may have various challenges. Touch them. Pour your Holy Spirit. Bless them and continue to be with them so that they can continue this ministry. Father, finally, ask you to forgive all our sins and shortcomings. And we ask all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. Uh, Master Guy Anthony Jude. Now, please turn on your cam. We will have our photo of our picture taking before we hear the video ID. Soon, we will be having the Master Guy theme song uh, to be, you know, later on uh, to be sung by all of us. Okay, please turn on your cam, everyone. Please turn on your cam and we'll have picture taking. Uh, Do you have, you know, uh, please help me, uh, Angeline, to take because I cannot, probably I don't have space. I cannot see uh, others uh, who, you know, who are having their, take, if... please, please, because I cannot see them opening their camera. Wait, please take. Okay. Uh, we have 18, 18. So please uh, keep smile. One, two, three, for the second. One, two, three, smile. Three, one, two, three. Okay, pages four. One, two, three. Keep smile, keep smile. Keep one, smiling, everyone. One, <laughs> Show your beautiful smiles. Two, three. Okay, number six. One, two, smile. Three. Number seven. One, two, smile. Three. Number eight. One, two, three, smile. Number nine, one, two, three, smile. Yes. Number 10, smile. One, two, three. Okay. Number 11, no video, but let me take a picture. 11, 12. 
And last, 17. Okay, all right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Master Jimmy. Please provide me those pictures you have. Okay. So now, again, thank you very much, everyone, my fellow youth directors. Thank you very much. And uh, let's continue to embrace and disciple our young people through this club ministry training and through Master Guide. May God bless you all. And now, Marika, it's your turn.